Hello, my name is Dr. Rudy Roelsen, and I'm your instructor for Aquatic Science and Introduction. I'm a research professor at the Meadows Center for Water and the Environment at Texas State University. I recently wrote the textbook, Texas Aquatic Science, in cooperation with the Texas Parks and Wildlife Department and the Hart Research Institute for Gulf of Mexico Studies at Texas A&M University at Corpus Christi. The textbook is peer-reviewed and was published by the Texas A&M University Press, College Station, Texas. It's available at any major bookseller, including at Amazon and the University Press at Texas A&M. The textbook is just one part of a multifaceted water and aquatic science curriculum for learners of all ages, and in particular for use by students and teachers in middle through high school and university faculty and students who are interested in an introduction to water and the aquatic sciences. I also produced the video education series, Aquatic and Water Science Online Lessons with Dr. Rudy Rosen, and closed caption, Water and Aquatic Science Lessons. These can be found on YouTube. These online lessons take Texas Aquatic Science, the textbook, and put it on video for use in classes or for personal education worldwide. The lessons also contain illustrations not available in the textbook, the Aquatic Science website, or other previously available materials. Aquatic and Water Science online lessons include over 220 videos describing specific topics and principles of aquatic science. This allows students and teachers to customize their learning and teaching across the full diversity of aquatic science topics. At the beginning of each video lesson, I provide a brief acknowledgement of contributors. My short acknowledgement in lessons doesn't even begin to cover the full contributions of project partners, the reviewers, funders, and supporters. In this video, I provide a more comprehensive acknowledgement of contributions to the aquatic science curriculum, as well as describe available supporting materials. The Aquatic Science Curriculum Project originated from work by the Meadows Center and Hart Research Institute called H2O, or Headwaters to Ocean. This early work was funded by the Ewing Hossel Foundation, San Antonio, Texas. Through the H2O project, the Texas Aquatic Science Curriculum was born to provide a context and comprehensive curriculum for teaching aquatic science and meeting state teaching requirements for aquatic science, as well as all the basic subjects making up the aquatic science curriculum, such as biology, physics, chemistry, mathematics, geography, and geology. Funding for development of the curriculum and associated materials was provided by the Ewing Hossel Foundation, U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service's Sport Fish Restoration Program, the Texas Parks and Wildlife Department, the Meadows Foundation, and the National Science Foundation through the Research Coordination Network for Climate, Energy, Environment, and Engagement in Semi-Arid Regions. Texas Aquatic Science was modeled after the Missouri Department of Conservation's curriculum, Conserving Missouri's Aquatic Ecosystems, from which some of the text and illustrations were drawn and used or adapted. We wish to acknowledge the generous partnership of the Missouri Department of Conservation, and most specifically, Mike Hoffman, Regina Konauer, Jack Woodhead, Elaine Calloway, Melanie Cardin Jensen, and Mary Scott for their contributions, support for the project, and permission to use and adapt Missouri Department of Conservation text and materials in the production of Texas Aquatic Science. Project directors for aquatic science were Rudolph Rosen and Nancy Heron, Outreach and Education Director for Texas Parks and Wildlife Department. Texas Aquatic Science was authored, adapted, and edited by Rudolf Rosen, who also designed the Texas Aquatic Science website. Dr. Sandra Johnson served as educational consultant and authored 
the accompanying teacher guide. Videos for the website were produced by Randall Maxwell. Nancy Heron also provided leadership direction and review of the text and scripts, and Caleb Harris from Parks and Wildlife Aquatic Education provided primary review of the educational content. Dr. Wes Tunnell, Associate Director of the Heart Research Institute, provided special assistance on marine ecosystem science. Additional contributors and reviewers include all the individuals shown here. The project partners are committed to connecting people of all ages to the natural world through inquiry-based, experiential learning, and support of outdoor recreation and industries. Accompanying Texas Aquatic Science is a comprehensive teacher guide developed by Dr. Sandra Johnson. The teaching guide and other materials such as free posters are available for free download. Here's a description of the teacher guide. Students are introduced to a wide variety of aquatic ecosystems through science investigations, games, models, cooperative learning activities, internet projects, readings from the textbook, Texas Aquatic Science website at texasaquaticscience.org, short videos, science journals, and field-based assessments of water quality and environmental conditions in a variety of field trips. Students use multiple intelligences to learn and to demonstrate their new knowledge and create products and performances. The guide is linked to short videos which provide an overview of the main ideas in each chapter and to the textbook, Texas Aquatic Science, which provides clear, concise scientific information in an interesting way with illustrations of important concepts which help clarify major ideas. The curriculum looks at water from the molecular level to the level of aquatic ecosystems, providing activities to guide students through the understanding that the characteristics of the water molecule make it unique in its value to all life. And conservation of water is a priority for all of us. All activities in the teacher guide are aligned with the Texas State's curriculum standards. We call these the Texas Essential Knowledge and Skills for sixth grade through eighth grade and for aquatic science and environmental science courses for high school. Lessons in each chapter begin with an activity to allow the teacher to assess what students know about the concepts to be studied. Lessons embed higher order thinking skills, provide depth and complexity of learning, and provide a wide variety of hands-on activities that engage students in a variety of contexts and methods. Each lesson includes an opportunity for students to apply what they've learned by synthesizing the information and demonstrating their learning by developing creative products and performances. Activities are designed to be inexpensive and to use the materials that are already in most classrooms. Teachers will find the activities easy to implement and fun for students. Teaching materials for some lessons, such as aquatic organisms game cards, posters, and videos, are linked to the curriculum guide and easy for teachers to download and print or view. Each chapter provides multiple opportunities for assessment. The first lesson in each chapter provides a formative assessment to help teachers plan for appropriate student learning and to help students focus on what's to come. In addition, Every lesson has a component to allow students the opportunity to synthesize what they've learned and apply it in creative products and presentations. The student reading also includes questions at the beginning of each chapter, which help students know what to focus on 
as they begin their reading. These questions help scaffold the reading level for younger students and provide another type of assessment for the teacher to consider. Student science journals are also useful for formative and summative assessments. Each field trip provides opportunities for performance assessment. At the end of each chapter, there are multiple choice and open-ended questions for students along with an answer key for teachers. The open-ended questions have many possible answers. Thanks to all supporters and partners.